review screen where you review your ballot. Uh, very familiar uh, process to what voters are used to. Uh, if you wanted to change something, you could, you could go back, uh, make a change on your ballot. Uh, once you're ready uh, to vote, the, what's a little different here is that uh, now you're going to print your ballot. So it says print card. So instead of pressing vote, I'm pressing print. And the express vote's actually printing uh, my selections on uh, the ballot that I inserted earlier. I take this out. Express vote's telling me to remove my printed ballot card and place this card into the scanner of the ballot box. At that point, here's something else that's a little different. All this has been very familiar so far. Now the, the voter will review uh, his selections to make sure uh, the ballot says you know, what, they, what they want and make sure it's correct as they want to cast it. And once I've verified that yes, these are the uh, votes I want to cast, as you're exiting um, the polling place, you then go to the scanner a nice picture here showing me how to insert my ballot. And you insert the ballot. It's reading my ballot, tabulating, saving the results in memory here on the scanner, but it's also dropping that paper ballot into a ballot box, a locked ballot box um, inside of here. So now we have two records of the results. We have an electronic, uh, we have data of how that of the votes that are on that ballot where it was scanned, and then we have that piece of paper down there. We're gonna talk a little bit more about, um, uh, about why that's important for security. And we now have this paper record of the voters voted ballot that can be used to verify results um, and, to, and to audit, audit election results. So adds that layer of security um, and resilience to the election process.